Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up your control box for GS Pro. This is a GSP edition of box, and all these buttons are already set up for you as long as you choose the GS Pro profile inside the software. So let me again pull that up. So once you choose the profile up here on the left, all these buttons that's on here will already work. Now, to get the box image on the screen to match the actual box you have, you want to come down here to background. And you can change the color of the buttons up here if you need to, if you have a box that looks different than this one, but this is white buttons. And then we want to scroll through until we see this GSP edition, which will be right here at the end. We're going to click apply changes. So now the box on the screen matches what we have here. So now we need to connect the box to the software. So first thing you want to do is make sure your box is turned on. That is the line down. And then again, plug it in the computer. Once it's plugged in, come up here and click, click to connect. That'll connect. Once it says connecting, it's good to test it out. So we'll go over to GS Pro here. Let me turn off this so you can see it. Go inside GS Pro, and we'll just hit aim left, aim right to make sure everything's working good. All right, all that's working. So now I'm gonna set up this option button. So what the option button is used for is being able to control mouse movements and clicks. The select button is basically a left mouse click. So just imagine wherever your mouse is on the screen, it will click that spot. So now we need to choose the spots we want the mouse to click on. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I got a dry erase marker and I'm going to make some marks on my screen of the spots that I want to be able to click on. So I'm going to choose the T selection, which is down here on the bottom. So you can choose where on the T that you want to tee off, more left or more right. But then I'm also going to hit a golf ball in the water and I'll show you why. Okay, because now we're going to get this menu. All right, so we got this menu here where we can either drop or take a mulligan, the options button, um, things like that. So I'm going to choose, normally when I hit into the water, um, I just hit a mulligan because I'm just you know playing in here by myself, so um, score doesn't really matter, so I can just take a mulligan. Um, or you can just hit drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this button up to give us all kinds of different options. So what we're going to do is go back to the software here. Let me activate that screen so you can see what we're doing. And I'm going to click on the option button. I'm going to choose create custom. Come up here and name this. Um, we're going to call this just options. And then come up in here and click on this activate for the toggle mode. And what that's going to do is let us choose locations that we want to move our mouse to. So now all we have to do is go back over to GS Pro, which let me turn this off so you can see it. I'm going to go back to GS Pro. Now on my screen, which you don't see, is I have my little dots that I made with my dry erase marker on my screen that I want to move the mouse to. So I'm going to start from left to right, which will be for the thing I use the most. Like Most likely I'm going to use the, the move left and right on the tee box more than I am hitting in the water. So I'm going to start down here and just hover my mouse over my little dot that I made and click shift. I'm going to hover my mouse over the other dot, shift. Come up here to mulligan, shift. Options, shift. And then drop, shift. Now we'll go back to the software. So let me activate that so you can see it. And then we're going to just toggle this off. So now we have our five locations that we preset. We're going to click Assign. So now we're going to click Save. Save what we did so we don't lose what we did. Now our Option button is set up to be able to move the, the cursor around and click on Spots for us. So I can take the box now and hit it once. Oh, my mouse on the right screen. Make sure I'm on the right screen. Click. OK. I'm going to click it once and it's going to move down to where the T's are. Let me make sure you can see that, which you probably can't on this screen. One second. Okay, there we go. So if I push it once, it's going to show up in all those spots that we had pre-selected. So if you can see, you see my mouse moving around to those spots. See that? And then when we're on the one we want, we just have to click select. So now I'll show you this in a real world example of how you would use this. So I have a wedge. Okay. 
So this wedge is not going to get me there, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to hit option once. That takes me to the left arrow to move on the T. Now I'm going to click select, which is left mouse click basically, and I'm going to move over this way for whatever reason. And then uh, let's see if I can not hit one that's closed but still goes in the water, which I'm sure this will. Great, goes into the water. So now I get to choose what I want to do. Well, I'm going to take a drop. So what I'll do is I'll hit option, option, till I get to the drop. Once I'm there, I hit select. So there you go, I took my drop right here. And uh, maybe I can hit this one better, but I don't know. Pulled it a little. Oh, that was bad. All oh, that high grass. Anyway, so that's how that works. So I, I get to do it again. So uh, we'll just hit select to do another drop because that's where the the uh, cursor already was. And I think this looks like heavy, heavy rough. So I don't know about this. Ugh. No, it ain't coming out of there. Anyway, you get the point. That's how that works. So just uh, you can mark off the spots on your screen if you use a dry erase marker to get rid of them. So yeah, then you're all the way set up and you're good to go.